Yes, so, so yeah, my, my own research topic, uh, my main research topic is electronic voting, mm -hmm. which, uh, which obviously also uses cryptography on very many levels. Mm -hmm. so, so, of course, we will ask um, how easy it would be to transition mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, the system to post-quantum crypto. Um, so do you want me to answer this question? No, it, it would be very great because <laughs> yes. if I start thinking of what is yeah. there currently in the Estonian yeah. online voting yeah. system, yeah. there's zero knowledge, there's homomorphic uh, cryptography. Okay, okay, okay. Let, 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 okay, let, 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 let me take it. So, um, yes, uh, we are using crypto in, in, uh, in many different components. Um, but, but luckily, these this components um, are, are pretty easily separable. So, so we are making use of national uh, EID. Uh, for for authentication and signatures, and and this is a place where we can say that whenever Estonian state is ready with their post quantum EID, we will just use it. Perfect, so yeah. we, are, we are not using it in in any any obscure uh, functionality. No, we're just using it as it is. So so that's that's a good part. Um, the um, uh, specific part um, is vote encryption. Mm -hmm. So so we are using vote encryption. A uh, very specific kind of it to allow for for very fancy functionality, exactly for for certain zero knowledge proofs of correct decryption, for example, um, for for mixing the the cryptograms for added privacy. We will perhaps have at at some point also zero knowledge proof based uh, individual verification protocol. All of these are are possible because of of very specific properties of the encryption that we are using. Mm -hmm. And again, NIST. Uh, uh, public key encryption, well, NIST didn't even procure public encryption, they only procured public key, key exchange. Yes. So, 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 so NIST uh, uh, algorithms are with high probability not usable for, for our purposes, which, need, which, which means we need to develop something of, of our own. But luckily, the, uh, I, I come back to this ecosystem topic. So luckily, this vote encryption is only confined within the, uh, the ecosystem of, of e-voting. Mm -hmm. Which means again we can update it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So and and uh, we we don't even need contingency in the sense that we we are not running elections like every day. Yes, we are running it once a year or something like that. We have time to prepare. We have time to uh, release a completely new version of, of software, uh, both on server side and on the client side. And once we do that, we will have post quantum support. So in in this sense, it's it's easy. I would say it's it's easier to transition that that. Quite uh, quite a few of the other um, examples. So uh, yes, if I take the if I, the take home message here is then that once uh, uh, the, a government moves its uh, digital identity platform to post quantum, mm -hmm. and there is a acceptable standard way for moving uh, secure. Uh, messages around with post quantum, then the more exotic pieces that we use for verifiability of voting and for securely tallying the votes mm -hmm. and for making sure that um, uh, we can't bind a specific uh, vote to the result, we can't find wh how anyone voted mm -hmm. also from the context, then that cryptography we are also uh, currently converting to post quantum this is this is a big research project, yeah. uh, which is currently ongoing. Um, but um, yeah, this is again how, how research works. We are mm -hmm. we are improving um, both uh, both on the on the theoretical side to be able to prove the algorithms secure, and on the performance side to to be able to accommodate hundreds of thousands of votes, for example. And um, in the foreseeable future, I'm hopeful we will be able to solve these problems. And once we do that. The transition itself is is not going to be technically very complex. It's 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 uh, figuring out how to do this in a provable mm -hmm. and and uh, efficient manner. This is the the well, current challenge. There is also the trust building. There needs to True. be. Uh, the re research community needs to have a look at the sure, cryptography. Sure, sure. And, and, and we are, we are by, by, by no means the only ones who are looking at this. Yes. So, so there are other countries who are running electronic voting in, in some form. And of course, they also know that, uh, that they need to do something. So, so there are uh, um, groups in Norway, groups in, in Spain, many, many groups around uh, the world who are, are looking at similar things. And, and we, are, we are not alone in this. That's very Luckily. fortunate because, uh, yeah, even though we are uh, strong users of cryptography in Estonia, it's uh, not uh, realistic that we can uh, 
build all of it needed for these new kinds of applications.